I ate an entire avocado today. I think the serving size is supposed to be half an avocado, but does anyone else just like eat an entire avocado? That's what I did. Anyways, hi friends. I'm so excited because we are starting our next exclusive YouTube recording, which is The Walking Dead season one. I have heard so many good things about this game. We did a viewer poll and this is what y'all wanted by quite a bit. So I'm excited to record something that you actually really wanna see. I'm, I'm very excited. Plus I genuinely just really want to play this game and I'm excited to do it. I don't really know anything about this game. All I know is that I might cry. Maybe. But if someone says you probably are going to cry, I think I'm definitely going to cry because <laughs> it's me. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm very, I'm so excited. Thank you for being here with me and being on this journey with me. Let's play. Standard more help from UI and feedback when you make Important choices. Turn off UI hints, help, and choice notification. Um, settings can be changed later. Okay, I'm gonna start with this, guys, and if you're like, why'd you do that? Then I can change it back. But like, I kinda, I have no idea how this works. Okay, this is episode one. But yeah, be like, if you think that it'll be more fun. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play it. This is so funny that I'm doing this with Mass Effect because I've heard that Mass Effect is the same thing and it carries over. Also, I'm sorry, my um light is... Okay, this is so scary. Is it gonna be scary? I think it is. Episode one, a new day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Use the mouse wheel or number keys one to four to select response. Oh my god, I have t I'm timed. I'm timed. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch do of fellas. Oh. Can I sorry, I just want to see if they have subtitles. Subtitles on, please. Me and my besties need subtitles. So I already can tell that with it being timed to make a decision, I'm gonna freak out. Of this prison, Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Silence is a valid option. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Oh, this is so cool. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like Atlanta, I'm from Atlanta. You got yourself mixed up in, with all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? 
You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. This man once, he, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Zap him. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Watch out, watch out! <laughs> oh my god! So this is how this game is gonna go. Okay. Oh, it's zombies. Okay. Yeah, it is Walking Dead. Oh God. Did I just kill him? Okay. Oh, I killed the oh, shit. person in the front. Thirsty. Ah! Fuck! My leg! Oh my god, it's here. Oh no. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, that's sweet, he cares about him. Oh, cool. Look at the door. Damn it. Use the mouse mouse wheel. Okay. Damn it. Um. Yeah, dude. I think that's our only option. I need to drag myself out that window. Uh. Uh. Oh no. Oh. 
officer? I'm scared. God damn. Can I not go that way? <laughs> oh, a shotgun. shotgun is over there. Yes, it is. You needed that. I don't know, but let's take it. <laughs> Looks empty. Well, I see some shotgun shells over there, so. Easier to carry with these cuffs off. Um. Can I take this? He's doing Romanian deadlifts. Okay, so I have that. I don't think that I can. Officer? I'm scared. Oh, he's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. Oh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> he's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Officer. No, no, no. We gotta get- Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, I swear, dude. Don't make me do this. Headshot. Ah. There's a child. There's a child. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! There's been a shooting. To say the least. Um. What are we doing? Dude, 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 dude. Something else is coming. Can we move? I don't want to do this. They scare me. Oh my god, where's your shotgun? He's limping too. Hello? Anybody? Wow. I wonder if anybody's home. No ladder. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. If 
fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Me too. Help! I'm nervous for him. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Oh no. They're all zombies. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door. Oh, sorry. Door I thought you... Okay. Yeah, I didn't process that. I thought you meant, like, let's first check to see if anyone's home so we're not rude and going through the sliding glass door but okay you right you Is right there anybody here i wonder if anybody's home go on Gonna go in. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? How many ah. jump scares are in this game? Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I wonder if the person he was talking about, um, the officer, killed his wife because it was a zombie or something. Like, I wonder how long the zombies have been around. Well, no, because he didn't, he didn't know, so it must be the beginning of the outbreak. It's I don't believe in fake fruit. Why would you put Maybe that something on there. in in your house? Maybe there's something on there. I'm sorry. What's that? Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. My hey, bad. Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, there's Eric a had child. A it was some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at eleven nineteen p.m. Oh my God! Finally, I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please. Atlanta! Y'all, I'm scared. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. Oh no. We love you. We love you. We love you. Sad. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Who 
what's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't Aww. get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh. Okay, seriously? What is Q? What is Q? Are you dead too? Can I retry? I, I, oh. Oh, I'm just mashing it? Okay. Oops. I'm glad that wasn't a decision that stuck around. What is happening? Okay. Okay. Hammer, hammer, hammer. Why Q? E! Q, 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 Q. Those are weird buttons to choose. I didn't want to go crazy in front of her. I didn't want to scare her. Man. Oh my god. Hi there. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. I don't My parents think that's might come true. Home. We won't go far. We'll <laughs> I don't know about that. And come back here with others. That sounds good. We can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's go. Stay close to me. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me and we'll move as fast as we can. I found the bastard. God. 
Seriously, are those humans? They're after me, not you. Why? Stay down! Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. We're friendly. There's a little girl here. Oh shit, you're not one of those things. Neither of us are. Oh damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. No. Well, Andre's sorry about that. It's Officer Mitchell. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you he see seems any of those nice. Things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. I just saw a girl inside that house. Nah, it wasn't him. Oh shit, you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. Um. A good Samaritan. Yeah, a good Samaritan. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Oh, can you use your gun for that? Yeah, can you shoot him? I don't know why I didn't bring the shotgun. Oh! Dude! Are you gonna run him over? Oh, you should have ran him over. Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Take care of you two. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple Aww, days. Aw, he's Reckon sweet. Down thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No, you're kidding. Those things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. So is he still sorry, a zombie, me? or is he dead dead? You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your That's daughter. That's rude. <laughs> oh, not his daughter. He's a good Samaritan. Oh. Do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Uh-oh. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about on the road. Who are you with, the girl? 
I was with a police officer. I'm nervous. He was giving me a ride. Okay. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Hmm. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? <laughs> Just like that. My mom and dad. Oh, I bet she's so. so cute. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. It's about four and a half hours away from Atlanta. I know because I want to go there. Four and a half hour away. I love you, baby. <laughs> Oh, so maybe they think he killed his wife, but the zombies did it. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. You don't have any more blankets? Well, I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> okay. We better get going. Or we won't hear okay. the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck. Ken though. Jr. and Duck. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? Oh, they're holding hands. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, it is. I work. really like that We've name. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I need a good foreman. Shut you can up sit on the tractor the and yell at me whenever I take a water break. This on guy the in the fence. Cool. <laughs> There's a zombie apocalypse, and this kid's just like, I can keep an eye fence. on the little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, I trust you. I think. I don't know. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? <laughs> anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's three days, okay. Animal. How did you handle getting through the city? Aww, first and grader. We just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. 
I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? My last thought I had before seeing any of what happened was of those wrinkly sharpays I see at the clinic. I want to go right back to thinking about that silly dog. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Um, do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. You having a nice time with Katya <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll leave her alone. Yeah. I will leave her alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anything to loot in here? No. Just in case. Oh god. Not this kid. Give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Sean's still working on that fence. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Just whatever scraps I could find around the property. He seems like an all right dude. Yeah, I'm a little He's nervous about him stuff. though. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. No, this is a do different you guy. need any help? Wait, I don't know. What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? Mm. You got kids of your own? We just met him. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. What did he you learn about me? yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep I mean, that she in mind. doesn't really have many options. How's your son doing? <laughs> oh, this Good, is gonna make I me think. feel bad. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. He's actually we really traumatized, so that's why he says, "Let's build a fence." I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. You showed interest in his family. So what's people. your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. I did learn about Kenny's boat. Okay, um... So I think I have to talk to Seems like those two are getting along. Her. Hey, back in a bit. Okay, Lee. What? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Um, 
do you have to go to the bathroom or anything like that? Lee, the young woman can take care of herself. Yeah, okay. Maybe up? Uh, no. Hmm. It's actually a piece of shit, but Hall's all right. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Oh my god. Was the boy one of I'm the I'm just walls? going with my instincts. I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. Oh shit. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Oh my god. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, yes. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Okay. <sighs> I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad I'm just sorry. Wants to keep the safe and thanks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? I'm uh, not too close with my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. I appreciate it, man. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Mmm. Okay, Sean, I like you. Duck, you're pretty cool, too. You're funny. Herschel! How'd you get out of Atlanta? I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse... Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? I don't know. My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Thank you. And now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. So many questions. Piece of advice. Oh no. Mind your own business. <laughs> Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. What did Let's I say lie about? Get back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. Uh, what did I lie about? To questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What? Um. Go! I'll get my gun. I swear, if someone's gonna die already. 
Sean, no. Not Sean. Not Sean. I liked him. Oh. Did that kid run him over? My legs. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to stop. Oh my god, I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible oh person. Kenny, you saw her. Oh no. Oh my god, are you serious? I loved him. I made a mistake. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you, don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It almost it almost got me, man. It, he tried to save me. I know, son. What? Oh, that guy? Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. You can't blame Kenny. The hell I can't. You watch your back. We can tell it's your daughter and you need his help. Please. Fuck. Let's go. Get out and never come back. Oh no. Did that kid run over his leg? You've got that ride to make it if you want it. He just walks away. Sorry I didn't save the child. I just really like Sean. I can't believe he's dead. This is sad. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. friendly trucks run out of gas um Stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. 
Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Oh my god. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Oh. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turned! He's not bitten. Where's the Please bite? Stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Okay. Me? Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I mean his leg is still. Oh no. Thank you. okay just great thanks uh, guys everybody down stay quiet they're gonna get in shut up is that the military Oh no. Whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. What? That was. Uh, oh, he needs yeah. to go. Are you having a heart attack? Okay, bye. Like, you need to pass away. This guy is. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. <sighs> We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. I think he could pass he away. Like, he's Behind really the mean. Where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. 
the hell? Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work Peach my way Tree. towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. <laughs> Keep a good eye on Lily her. and Larry. Boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. <sighs> you, Larry. You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Me? Did you say? Oh. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps or, or ghouls or whatever the hell <laughs> they are. They were pulling our van apart and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. batteries of this thing what now do you know that there are no batteries in that thing yeah of course you know <laughs> what no I can try to find some needs two thanks I wouldn't even really know what to look for huh heard or seen anything nothing luckily wanna step outside have a look around <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. That's weird. Like, why would I go out there? Perfumes, family planning. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. The pills are in there. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Um, I tried literally everything else. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. 
Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, he doesn't mean it. Um, <laughs> don't know about that. We've got kids here, families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. I swear if she tells oh, her that, bad. that's not going to be she good. Was the sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? How do you know this place? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners. Oh. Uh, we were close. I'm sorry. That's sad. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. 